All right, so um, as you might imagine, this is an exponential relationship, and so we have to do something to try to find out uh, what's going on exponentially here. Um, so we've got some not-so-nice numbers to deal with. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read it carefully. An amateur filmmaker has produced a film. Hopefully you watched that. It's pretty funny, I think. Um, that he is sure will go viral once he posts it publicly. His view count is currently 8. So he's got 8 views so far because he has looked at it several times when uploading it and checking that everything worked right in different browsers on different platforms. He has 6,450 subscribers and when he posts it he knows that these subscribers will view it within the week. His experience is that the number of views doubles over his number of subscribers every week. So let's think about what's uh, what's kind of going on. There's two things, there's these two numbers. We have, uh, whoops, I'll get a pen out rather than uh, that guy. So we have this number 8, that's current. Okay, so that's his current number. And then um, he's got this number 6450, and that's his subscriber number. Um, and so let's think about this really difficult sentence here that I'll highlight in orange. His experience is that the number of views doubles over his number of subscribers every week. Um, so what that means um, is that uh, this view count is not going to change. That's just the views that he's got. Um, and those views are just him checking things out to make sure it's working properly. Um, and so these views, the, these current eight views, um, don't produce any more views. I'm being quiet a little bit for that to sink in and also to write. So some views produce more views um, and other views do not. I'll try to get rid of that, that brick there. Whoops. Um, come back to me, your server. Um, there we go. And so some views produce more views because when you watch it, somebody sends it to somebody else. So like you watch the video, it's super hilarious. You post it on Facebook. You watch the video, it's super hilarious. You email it to a friend. Um, and so some views uh, produce new views, um, but these first eight don't produce any more views. And so these 6,450 subscribers, though, they're going to watch this thing in the first week, and then what are they going to do? They're going to send it out to people that they know, or they're going to post it on their Facebook feed. And so he's noticed this pattern that um, these subscribers... Uh, will help him to double his views every week over those subscribers because these ones um, produce new views. And so the, this is where the action is, this 6450, and this is static over here. These eight views are static. 6450 is going to be a changing number. Um, so let's think about that a little bit more. So um, let's say we start with 6,000. Uh, 450 views. I know we don't have that, but let's just look at the pattern that this guy has noticed. Um, and so he's got 6,450 subscribers, um, and this is going to be weeks, and this is going to be views. And so um, for the s subscribers, they're going to see it right when it starts, right? In that first week, within the first week, and once one week has passed, it's going to double. Um, and so this is going to get multiplied by 2. And I'm going to do the calculation here. Um, so that's going to be 6450 times 2. And that's going to give us 12,900. Okay, and so then another week is going to go by. It's going to double again. And so as the number of weeks or the input goes up by 1, um, the output is going to double here. 12,900 times 2 is 25,800. And we'll just go up to week three here. So, whoops, we're going to double it again, and we get 51,600 views um, based on just his subscribers. But um, there's something going on here. I'm going to erase the part where I'm explaining the pattern here of it multiplying by two. Um, and I'm going to try to now include um, these eight views. So these eight views, they were static. They didn't produce new views in any way. They were just there, and they're going to stay on his view count. Um, so in week zero, um, he doesn't have 6,450 views. He has that plus eight. And so he actually has 
6,458 views. Here, we're going to add 8 again because those views still exist. So it's 12,908. Um, and so for each stage in the table at each week, there's 8 extra views that need to be accounted for. Um, and I'm not adding 8 over and over again. I'm adding 8 to each one of these. It's a static thing, so 51,608. Um, and so essentially what I've got, if I look at this row, the black row here, I've got a relationship that at this point hopefully um, you see is exponential. It has um, an A value of 6,450, and it has a B value of 2. That means it starts at... Um, 6,450, and it multiplies by 2. And so the function I could write would be, if it was just this black row, um, the function I could write would be y equals 6,450 times 2 to the x, because we're multiplying by 2 over and over again. However, um, we have this situation where he has eight views already stocked up and that's going to be a part of every single row and so the end of my function is just going to be this plus eight. And so when you look at this whole thing all together you have the function y equals 6450 times 2 to the x plus 8. Um, and to be able to write that function I had to notice some things. I had to notice what the pattern actually was. It was a doubling pattern. I had to notice what was being doubled. It was the number of subscribers. And then I had to notice that, well, there were eight views that were already in the count just because of his processing it. And those are always going to be added to the total number of views. Um, and so you have these several working parts. Um, the way that you can think about this piece right here is that it just shifts every entry in the table up by eight. Um, and by doing so, it affects the graph, it affects the behavior of uh, what's going to happen, and that's exactly what is next in your investigation.